Sam Altman says they're going to be launching some new compute intensive offerings. I'm pretty sure we now know what those offerings might be. What no one knew was coming was this. OpenAI and NVIDIA announced a strategic partnership to deploy 10 gigawatts of NVIDIA systems. Is it gigawatts or gigawatts? If you recall back to the future, they needed 1.21 gigawatts of power to activate the flux capacitor in order to be able to travel through time in a DeLorean. By the way, that prefix giga can be pronounced giga. That sounds like it's the proper ancient Greek pronunciation. So Doc Brown needed only 1.21 gigawatts of power to get us to the future. Sam Altman needs a 10. I'm totally tweeting that. Okay, so let's break it down. So OpenAI and NVIDIA. NVIDIA is the biggest supplier of GPUs. How many of us are kicking themselves for not buying into NVIDIA earlier? So strategic partnership enables OpenAI to build and deploy at least 10 gigawatts of AI data centers with NVIDIA systems representing millions of GPUs for OpenAI's next generation AI infrastructure. To support the partnership, NVIDIA intends to invest up to 100 billion in OpenAI progressively as each gigawatt is deployed. The first gigawatt of NVIDIA systems will be deployed in the second half of 2026 on NVIDIA's Vera Rubin platform. So first of all, let's talk about the scale of this thing because it's rather massive. So I looked up some stuff that uses or produces electricity just to get a sense of what we're talking about. So this thing could power between 7 million and 9 million homes. It's equivalent to like five Hoover dams, right, in terms of energy production. And it's equivalent to about 10 big nuclear reactors. So if a typical nuclear reactor produces around one gigawatt of electricity, so 10 gigawatts is about 10 nuclear reactors. Currently, the biggest single cluster is the XAI Colossus Memphis Phase 2. And this number here is NVIDIA's GPU H100 equivalents. So this means that this is the single largest, clearest compute build that's disclosed by any Western AI lab. There are various anonymized Chinese systems, so we don't really know who they belong to. If there are more, we don't know too much about it. Now, OpenAI and Microsoft, they also announced earlier this year the Stargate project that was aimed at about five gigawatts, so half of this current project. It also had a 100 billion capex, so capital expenditures, kind of the total money going into it immediately, and then 500 billion over the next four years. So we're not quite sure where this is going because there's been a lot of rumors and speculations and questions about whether or not this is going to happen. We also have Amazon, AWS, Project Rainier, or Rainier, depending on how you pronounce it. I guess locals say Rainier, other people say Rainier. So this is done with, interestingly, with Anthropic and Tranium 2 chips. So that's kind of a, a separate thing. It's kind of hard to compare that to GPUs. Then we have the Google Cloud TPUs, Tensor Processing Units. By the way, if anybody knows like a good way to compare sort of like the size of these across the different chips, let me know what's the best approach. Like how can you visualize where all these different companies are? How do you compare TPUs and Tranium and GPUs, et cetera? So this sounds like the biggest sort of announced project. Now, of course, keep in mind that this hasn't started yet. It's not live. So take it with a grain of salt in terms of, I mean, they still have to build it and deploy it and, and put it to use. But certainly this seems very interesting since NVIDIA is the one that's sort of investing in this money. They, they make the chips. So it's kind of their effort that's going to be building out these data centers. There's quite a things that we still don't know yet, like how the partnership is structured when it says NVIDIA is investing in OpenAI. And what does that mean exactly? So I have a few interviews planned where we're going to be trying to figure out exactly how this thing is, is structured, how this thing is going to work. Will NVIDIA have some ownership in OpenAI? How does them trying to transition to the for-profit company, how does that play into this? So there's, there's still a lot of moving pieces, still a lot of things we don't understand. But as Sam Altman says here, everything starts with compute. Compute infrastructure will be the basis for the economy of the future, and we will utilize what we're building with NVIDIA to create new AI breakthroughs and empower people and businesses with them at scale. Greg Brockman says, we've been working with NVIDIA since the early days of OpenAI. In fact, there are pictures of Jensen Huang hand delivering like the first crates with GPUs in it to the OpenAI headquarters. Like he signed it very early on. I don't remember the exact year, but it was very, kind of very close to the founding of OpenAI. 
And notice here they're saying NVIDIA and OpenAI look forward to finalizing the deals of this new phase of strategic partnership in the coming weeks. So it sounds like we don't maybe don't know every detail. They haven't finalized some of the details, but this does seem like a big deal. A few days ago, Elon Musk posted this saying 1.21 gigawatts of a training compute referring to the Colossus Stage 2, the thing that's powering Grok 4, Grok 4 Fast, and all of the Grok models. Is that how much the Back to the Future car had? Uh, yes. Well, yes. So this new proposed OpenAI and NVIDIA partnership, so that's 8 X more than than this is currently, or you know, we, we're not sure exactly what the number is here. But again, this is to show that the scale here is staggering. So all these companies, Nvidia and Microsoft and OpenAI and XI and all of the companies involved are still betting on the scaling laws. The idea is that as we increase the scale of the compute, the abilities of these models increase predictably. It's not a one-to-one -one relationship, the sort of the amount of compute we need, it is exponential, but the abilities of the models scale predictably. As Prakash Ada Pai is saying, Jensen finally believes in super intelligence. We've turned the corner. This is an interesting take because if you think about it, everybody kept saying that, you know, NVIDIA is the winner because they're selling shovels, right? As everybody's chasing AGI, as they're trying to improve their models, NVIDIA they're not really doing that. They're just selling the shovels, the tools that are needed to build AI. They're getting paid no matter what. Whether or not these Frontier AI labs strike gold or don't, NVIDIA sells the hardware, makes a tidy profit. The profit margins are rather large, but they don't need those bets to pay off because they're just selling the hardware. This is a little bit of a turn. Jensen and NVIDIA are no longer just selling the shovels. It seems like this is a fairly large investment into OpenAI. If the models don't get better, if they don't have some return on investment, if they can't do any economically valuable work, and OpenAI is just burning through billions with no ROI in sight, then of course that investment will be worth less, you know, close to zero or whatever. So that sort of narrative might change a little bit. It's no longer fair to say that it's just selling the shovels. This is it's becoming more integrated within sort of the AI race, the AGI race, whatever you want to call it. This is from Semi Analysis. They're a great publication about specifically the AI data centers, the chips, all of that stuff. Probably the number one resource in the space for that. So this was published a few days ago. XEI's Colossus 2, the first gigawatt data center in the world unique reinforcement learning methodology, capital raise, on-site turbines, Mississippi expansion, Solaris energy. Can XAI afford it? Middle East funding, Tesla, talent exodus, API revenue, consumer growth, reinforcement learning environment. I'm going to start putting just all the keywords into the, the, the title of my blog post. That's kind of brilliant. I'm going to test that out. So here's that chart. We've seen it before. As you can see here, the blue line is OpenAI. So this is before this announcement. This is up to the third quarter of 2025. And the thing to note here is this black line, that's XAI. So as you can see here, I mean, at some point they didn't have a model. XAI didn't exist while the other Frontier Labs were already developing their models. So it really came from behind from a late start and just really quickly scaled up closing the gap between themselves and OpenAI, beating the other ones, Anthropic and Meta. So Colossus 2 was built from zero to 200 megawatts in six months. That was in Memphis. It's going to be interesting to see where this new OpenAI project will be built out. Is it going to be in the States? And are they going to be able to deploy it and build it as far as Elon does? Because XAI built that in six months, what took 15 months for Oracle, so and OpenAI. Also, how are they going to power it with XEI, for example? Their genius move was to develop a gigawatt scale energy hub right across the border in South Haven, Mississippi. So he's running Colossus 2 in Memphis, Tennessee, and apparently right across, I guess there's a border and that's the power plant in South Haven, Mississippi that he acquired. You have Tesla Megapax, the battery energy storage system. We're not going to read this entire blog post, but I'll link down below. Check it out. It's a great a newsletter as well. But the point is, it's extremely difficult to build it out and provide the needed energy. Now, there has been a lot of talk about expanding in the Middle East, getting funding from the Middle East. 
So it's going to be interesting to see where they build this project out, if they're going to need any more funding. As Sam said a few days ago, you know, they're going to be launching some new compute intensive offerings over the next few weeks. Now, of course, this is long before this ascent is going to be completed. It's only going to start coming online. It seems like the second half of 2026. This new compute intensive offerings seems like it's going to be Sora 2, some sort of a video generation thing. That's just some speculation that's online. But here's Tibor. He does tend to leak or announce some information before it's publicly available. So there's been some movement in the Sora web app, something referred to as NF2. And it seems like there are some subdomains and some mentions in that feed page, like WebB, Composer, Recording, Accepted, Invite, Fast Pass, and more. So we might be seeing some sort of a new video generation thing. Now, as we've seen with the image generation things like Nano Banana from Google, and the launch of OpenAI when just everything got giblified, if you recall that, that was a huge moment for both companies in terms of onboarding users. Tons of people signed up and tried out these products because they want to get their hands on these AI image generation capabilities. So it definitely seems like if you want to get users on board, that seems to be a good way of doing it through some sort of a visual medium, in those two cases specifically images. But both OpenAI and some Google engineers would post that like, everybody's just melting the GPUs that they have available or whatever infrastructure was used basically needed to be upgraded because of the massive, massive demand. So it's likely that a lot of this compute that's coming online is not just going to be used for training and running large language models, but we're probably going to be seeing a lot more visual stuff because it seems to really bring in new users and bring them on board and have them test out the platform. Here's kind of those spikes for the Ghibli anime virality, nano banana virality. So it seems like the video doesn't have as big of a viral spike, whereas the images do. This is a absolute massive deal. It seems like a little bit of a shift in terms of how these companies are going to be operating moving forward. NVIDIA is committing to providing more than the amount of chips that they've sold to everyone in 2025. More than that amount, they're planning to sell to OpenAI and also seemingly fund a lot of it. So we'll stay tuned for details. We'll see how that deal is structured. We'll see if we have any idea about where it's gonna be built out. How are they planning to get the power needed to run this thing? So stay tuned, but it doesn't seem like this race to AGI is slowing down, not one bit. If you made this far, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next one.